over 90% of all outreach emails go unanswered. Of those emails, how many do you think bounce? Let's talk about why emails bounce and what you can do to fix it. I'm Yvonne, Marketing Manager here at Respondent, and today we are talking email bounce backs. So what exactly is an email bounce back? Well, emails bounce when an email can't be delivered to a recipient's inbox because of a certain issue. And obviously we don't want this to happen all the time for a few reasons. After all, imagine taking the time to find someone's contact information, create a high quality email, and then it just never reaches the person. It's not too great, right? That is not great. No. Having a high bounce rate can have negative impacts on your outreach efforts and also affect your sender reputation. Your sender reputation is a score that ISPs, otherwise known as internet service providers, give your email IP address to determine how trustworthy it is. Actually, many email service providers or ESPs like Gmail or Outlook will penalize a sender's reputation if the bounce rate is over 5%. So general rule of thumb, you want to aim for a bounce rate below 3%. Now that you have some background, let's talk about why your emails might be bouncing. Number one, you're trying to reach a non-existent email address. One of the most common reasons that emails bounce back is because you're trying to reach out to an email that doesn't exist. There are two main reasons this could be happening. Either one, you misspelled the email, and so the email is invalid, or the email doesn't even exist at all. If you're sure that there's no spelling mistakes in your email address, then you should probably make sure that it's still valid. You can use a tool like Respana to validate emails on the spot. Reason number two, your recipient's inbox is full. So email service providers have a certain capacity or a certain amount of maximum storage they can provide to users. And once users hit this limit, they can no longer receive any new messages. Since this is a soft bounce case, it's a temporary issue and there's not really much you can do on your end other than just wait for the recipient's inbox to have enough storage to receive your emails again. Here's an example of what a bounce back email will look like depending on your service provider. Our third and final reason is that you're reaching out to a blocked email address. This is often the case with government institutions or schools where servers are a lot more strict when it comes to receiving incoming emails. In that case, the message you receive will look something like this, again, depending on your service provider. Another reason why a recipient's mail server may be blocked is to prevent spamming attempts. If the incoming server receives something that looks suspicious or triggers certain spam filters, this can lead to the email coming back as blocked or ending up in the spam folder. Something to consider is the SPF. And no, I'm not talking about sunscreen. Anybody need sunblock? Got SPF 30. I'm talking about sender policy framework. This is an authentication technique used to protect users from spammers and also to authenticate and basically determine how trustworthy your DNS is. So those are the main reasons why your emails might be bouncing. Now let's talk about what you can do to fix it. If you're experiencing higher than usual or higher than 5% bounce rates for your email campaigns, these tips are going to come in handy. Starting off our list is by using a double opt-in. A double opt-in is a great way to basically validate and verify that the emails that somebody gave you is the correct email. This basically means that when someone signs up for your newsletter or signs up for your email list, you send them a confirmation email and have them take some sort of action within that email to confirm their email address before you actually add them to your email list. Email. Sorry, elf mile. It's something you've definitely encountered or something that you've seen before, but the following example from Ahrefs should make the process of double opt-in pretty clear. Assuming you want to subscribe to Ahrefs Weekly Digest, all you need to do is enter your email in their form. You'll then be notified that a confirmation email has been sent to your inbox, which will then ask you to confirm your email by clicking on the yes, subscribe me to this list button. This will ensure that your email is correct and there's no risk of the emails bouncing back. As a result, Adros bounce rates for their newsletter will be significantly decreased. Now onto strategy number two, authenticating your domain. According to a survey by Litmus done in 2017, less than 40% of the 3,500 marketers that were surveyed used SPF, DKIM, or DMARC, all of which are methods of email authentication. Authenticating your domains will mark you as trustworthy in the eyes of email service providers, and it will ultimately increase your deliverability rates. Therefore, it'll decrease your bounce rates. It'll also improve your email sender reputation, something that your recipient's mail server will take into account when receiving your messages. So just to keep it simple, make sure you authenticate your domains in any way so you can keep your bounce rates as low as possible. Strategy number three, clean your email list. 
While this might sound pretty obvious, more often than not, brands and marketers do not regularly clean their email lists. Over time, a list may become populated with either inactive accounts or email addresses with other issues that won't allow you to deliver messages to them. Every now and then, it's a really good idea to go through your email list and remove everything that's gonna increase your bounce rate. There's really two ways you can go about this. You can either send out another opt-in email, which will verify all the active accounts, or you can use a bulk verification tool, which will get rid of all the problematic accounts or at least identify them so you can get rid of them. Not only will this decrease the bounce rate, but it should also increase the overall engagement and deliverability rates of your email campaigns. Some of our favorite tools for bulk verification, aside from Respondent, include Never Bounce and Clear Out. I'll go ahead and make sure to link those tools in the description below, but now it's time to move on to our final strategy, which is to avoid spammy messaging. Since you're here, you know that spamming is a legitimate problem. You need to try and avoid spam filters by all means. If you end up in spam too many times, it'll ultimately harm your sender reputation and your emails will continue to go undelivered. The last thing you want is to end up on a blacklist. A blacklist is a database that email providers use to identify spammy or suspicious email senders. You can avoid the spam folder by not using common spam words, not sending out too many bulk emails, and also not using misleading contact information. The more email providers that trust you, the higher deliverability rate will be, and so therefore it'll decrease your bounce rate. Although, if you've already been marked for spam and you're getting caught in spam filters and you think your domain reputation is at an all-time low, don't worry, there's still hope. Our friends over at Lemlist have developed Lemworm, which is a great way to get that domain reputation back on track by using their database of opted-in users. It works by creating kind of real conversations between the users and monitoring emails that get caught in spam filters. If it sees that an email got marked for spam, it'll actually remove it out of the spam folder and mark it as a safe email. So that way, over a course of a few weeks or maybe a month, your emails and your domain reputation will be back on track. And that's it. A lot of bounce emails ultimately come down to user error. Whether it's a spammy message or the contact information is not correct, always double check your campaigns before you launch them. I think now you're ready to fix any potential problems that you're having with bounced emails so you can take your outreach to the next level. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'm more than happy to answer them. Thanks for watching and remember, don't spam, build relationships. See you next time.